In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a post-process material to a post-process volume or a camera. If you want to add a post-process material to a post-process volume, we need to first of all create the volume. You can do that by going into the Place Actress panel, Visual Effects, and drag out the post-process volume to a desired location in your scene. If you can't find your Place Actress panel, you can enable it under Window and Place Actress. To add the post-process material to the post-process volume, you need to select the volume, scroll down in the Details panel until you find the Rendering Features group. In this group, you can find the post-process material, expand the selection, and add an array element using the plus icon. If you wish to remove all elements, you can press the trash bin icon. Click the Choose drop-down menu, and select Asset Reference. You can now press the Non drop-down menu, and select your desired post-process material. Remember, you need to be inside the bounds of your post-process volume in order to see the post-process material. If you want to add a post-process material to a camera, these steps are quite similar to those of the post-process volume. I'm going to add a camera to my scene by going into the Place Actress panel, search for Camera, and drag the camera into a desired location in my scene. To add the post-process material to the camera, you need to select the camera, scroll down in the Details panel until you find the Rendering Features group. In this group, you can find the post-process material, expand the selection, and add an array element using the plus icon. Click the Choose drop-down menu and select Asset Reference. You can now press the Non drop-down menu and select your desired post-process material. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.